here with the latest on what will eventually be probably a pretty rough afternoon. Yeah, don't try to go to Dallas, Texas or anywhere around that area, maybe even up toward the Great Lakes. Again, significant uh, winter storm there. We're going to be dealing with potentially heavy rain, severe weather here. Live look from our BJCC camera downtown. Starting to see some low clouds and fog out there. It does tell us it's very stable air here, which is good. 65, look at that southeast wind, 16 dew point numbers climbing 61. Definitely a little bit muggier than it's been. And we have that tornado watch in effect. Jefferson, Shelby counties all the way back down to parts of the southwestern part of the state, including their Tuscaloosa, Pickens, Hale, Green, as well as on into Bibb and Chilton counties here in our viewing area and then points to the south as well towards Selma. And we are looking at some rain kind of coming in. Little shower up near Jasper, a little more steady or heavier rain coming in toward parts of the area there uh, from uh, Pickens County heading back to say Sumter as well as into Green and Hale counties now and moving into Tuscaloosa County. Do have some thunder or lightning showing up here, so you need to watch some of these storms. They will be reduced some very heavy rain, have the potential for some strong gusty winds and maybe a tornado too. I don't see anything right now that's concerning, but definitely something worth watching here as we go forward here through the afternoon hours. Some of that rain moving into parts of southwestern part of Tuscaloosa County, not too far away from Tuscaloosa itself, near Foster's down I-5920, heading to Sumter and Greene counties. Back across southern part of Pickens County, Aliceville, some pretty good rain heading up toward the Kirk area, back over to parts of a Lewiston area as well as Ridge and Snotty. Jenna, we are dealing with again some pretty good rain. Up near Jasper, a little downpour from you and Sardis along I-22 there, so we are seeing a little rain up across part of the Walker County area this morning. Morning too, and now into the afternoon hours. Now this is over the next hour. You can see that rain moving into Tuscaloosa and gradually here will get its way into Birmingham, but not until maybe three, four o'clock this afternoon as that line moves in it could also produce the threat for some severe weather here as well as some very heavy rain. All because this area low pressure here. You can see there are a few severe storms popping up over southern part of Mississippi, so we'll watch those. They move off to the northeast. Snow, ice, all kinds of headaches there. Look at this. We have winter storm warnings stretching from about Austin, Texas, all the way through Maine and then significant icing expected on top of some heavy snow. Now back here, though, it's more severe weather. We're the warm side of it, and that's at this time of year. We do get those. You can see that slight risk for really a lot of Alabama, including much of the viewing area here for damaging winds, maybe some hail, and maybe a, one or two of those brief tornadoes I've been talking about. But the bigger story is heavy rain, one to two inches of rain on top of the one to two we got yesterday that could lead to some flash flooding issues, and that's why we have that flood watch in effect till 9 a.m. on Friday. With that additional rain, streams and creeks may be running a little high. Most of the rain is going to run off into those streams and creeks. So we have that weather aware for today. Again, from now basically till 6 a.m. on Friday. Again, the heavy rain could lead to flash flooding. There's winds and maybe a tornado. All of that. Just keep in mind, we we'll have a busy afternoon into the evening hours. So from now till 3 over the western part of the state, 2 to 7 along the I-65 counties, and then off to the east from 4 to 9 o'clock, kind of the timeline we're looking at when that line moves on in. So here's how it looks on Futurecast. As you'll see again, we are going to be dealing with those temperatures warming to the upper 60s. Now, here comes that line of storms by 3 o'clock right into Birmingham just as the kids get out of school. So keep that in mind. Things could get a little dicey out there with some heavy rain and potentially some of those strong to possibly severe storms. That'll continue through 6 o'clock as the line moves over toward, say, Anderson, Talladega, back south of Clanton and into the Alex City area. But we're still going to be dealing with rain behind it, and that'll continue through 11 o'clock tonight. Temperatures fall into the 50s. More rain overnight, but lighter rain by 4 a.m. And there's a chance maybe across northwest Alabama may see a brief freeze freezing drizzle or freezing rain. Those temperatures by tomorrow morning fall close to freezing there. But through the morning, that rain comes to an end. Lingering clouds by 3 o'clock and then everything starts to clear out going into Saturday morning. Be cold. Mid and upper 20s expected across the area and not much of rebound in the afternoon, only into the mid 40s. Definitely going to be quite cold though on Saturday. So again, stay weather aware today. Keep it tuned to CBS 42, our app, our social media pages, as well as our website. 70 are high, but tomorrow's high only 43 and then staying in the 40s Saturday and 50s return by Sunday. Dave, thanks. We know you and the team are tracking it all coming up here.